first turn. Cheating bastard. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go second. Okay. Actually, I ever ever since ever since Yu-Gi-Oh made it so that you don't draw on the first turn, I find second to be the much more attractive option. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm gonna start with a face down. I'm going to activate Dragon Pulse Magician, and I'm going to normal summon Lila Lightsworn Sorceress. Nice. I'll end sending three cards from the top of my deck to the graveyard. I needed that Dragon Pit Magician. Damn it! I'm honestly curious as to why they put why they put Lila in the deck. Mm, the spell and trap card removal. Uh, do I have? No, nope, don't have that. Don't have that. I guess all I'm going to do is put this face down, and I'm going to put uh, this. If this. Okay, and I'm also going to set this card. Okay. Ending turn. Mm, all right. I'm going to have Lila Lightsworn Sorceress attack your face down. And it was Quibble Hedgehog. He's dead. Okay. Main phase two. I'll change Lila to defense mode and activate her effect to destroy the spell or trap card. And because you have destroyed the limiter overload, I get to special summon a speed warrior from my deck. Mm -hmm. Huzzah. So many warriors. Here he is. It's the one who kind of looks like Kaiba Man. <laughs> Alright. And I will set a card and end my turn milling three. One. Two. Three. I needed most of those. It's okay, Gerda. Your deck has got plenty of those. I'm sure you'll recover. I am going to normal summon the Jet Synchron. Okay. And now, because I control a tuner monster, I can special summon Quibble Hedgehog from my graveyard. Mm -hmm. But Quibble is banished when he's synchro, well, when he's synchro summon, which is about to happen. Bamushki, mm -hmm. going to five. Uh, is Jet Warrior a five? I thought it was a four. What? No, Jet, Jet Warrior is a two. I mean, Jet Warrior uh, okay. is a five. Behold, the Jet Warrior. Okay. When he's synchro summoned, I'm going to bounce Lila back to your hand. Uh, that's a bad move, but okay. Uh, wait, do I, does something happen once, uh, if this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card, special summon this card, but banish it. Oh, that's qu that's very nice, Jet Synchron. I'm glad you give me these options. I'm going to attack you directly. Okay, then. Uh, 2100. And I'll end. That's all I can do. Okay. Hmm. I needed this last turn, damn it. Alright, I'll normal summon Lila, Light Sworn Sorceress. Yay. And I will end milling three. One, two, three. Why is Lila in your deck again? <laughs> mm, for uh, for uh, increased speed and for uh, protection. Like they, I feel like they might as well have given you Breaker the Magical Warrior, not because he also can get rid of spells and traps, and he's a spellcaster. Lila also is a spellcaster, but that's irrelevant to my point. You shouldn't put Lightsworns in a non-Lightsworn deck. Shouldn't be done. No, why? Raiko is one of the best removal cards in the game. He is. <laughs> he really is. Because he could destroy fucking anything, and you can always, you can always, always, always put top of your deck. I have, I have one card. I have one card in my graveyard that I can return if I. Send one card from my hand to the graveyard. I need to see if I can actually do anything cool with that. Oh, oh, wait, wait, damn it! I don't have any other synchron monsters. Uh, uh, speaking, speaking of, speaking of decks that need a little reading and setup in order to do. What the? F mm, I gotta. I have to do something. I feel like I have to go off on something at least this turn. There's got. There's got to be something I can do. Come on. Uh, not this guy. Not, this guy. not one tuner sync. Oh, that's how they want me to go in a. Wait, is Jet Synchron also a Synchro? Jet Warrior is a Synchro. I didn't even. 
I mean, Jet. Fuck. Um, yes, Jet Warrior is a synchro monster. He is definitely a synchro monster. Let it be known. But he is not a tuner. The only tuner synchro monster I have in my extra deck is the Excel Synchron. He's a level five. I kind of wish I had gone into him. <laughs> But that's okay because I was able to do a direct attack. Could you go into Jet Warrior right now if you had gone into XL Synchron? Uh, could I have? If I had gone into XL Synchron, send one Synchron monster to the deck to the. Interesting. I guess I guess the point of Excel Synchron because he can modulate his level. It just makes it easier to set up the Synchro materials you need in order to go into my ultimate baddie. Mm hmm. Um, that all being said, I can't really do anything spectacular this turn, so I'm going to set this card, and I'm going to attack Lila. Okay, then. Degree 400. And I will end my turn. Okay. I'm glad we have learned much during these past few minutes. I will normal summon Fencing Fire Ferret. Yay. And I'll have Fencing Fire Ferret attack your face down. How dare you? It was my level leader. I love level leader. Mm. Well, yeah. Level leader should help you go off this turn. Uh, he, he may. He just may. Can I get a level one? Yes, I can. Yay. I can actually do some cool shit. I am going to reduce Jet Warrior's level by one in order to summon Level Leader from my graveyard. In defense mode, of course. Next, I'm going to send the Tuning Wear in my hand to the graveyard in order to special summon the Jet Synchron in defense mode, but he's banished when okay. he leaves the field. I'm going to Synchro into five. Okay. For the Excel Synchron in defense mode, because I didn't realize how low his attack stats are. <laughs> Anyway, um, I believe Jet Warrior now has a relevant feature. If this card is in your graveyard, yes. tribute one level... Oh, fuck, but does level leader let himself be tributed? Fuck, he can't. Okay, so I can't legally do that. Um, I kind of wish I could, because then I can go into my lockdown. Um, I did not yet normal summon a creature. Uh, so... I think, damn it, I don't have any... Wait, but Excel Synchron. Yes. By the level of the Scent Monster. What? No. Reduce this card level by the level of the Scent Monster. During your opponent's main phase, immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro Monster summon one Synchro Monster whose materials... I'm, I'm just going to ignore that. You can, you can perform a Synchro Summon during my main phase. Which is... Uh, which I guess would be a nice interrupt. Um, I'm th if I do that, but I still can't get Jet Warrior out from my graveyard unless... Oh, wait, but I can if I normal summon a monster that he can legally tribute. Okay. All right, all right, here we go. This this is it. This is, this is a big one. No, Doppel Warrior. Doppel Warrior is my normal summon. I'm going to tribute Doppel Warrior in order to send... Uh, in order to special summon Jet Warrior back to the field, and when his effect only activates when he's synchro summoned, so right now he does nothing. I am going to synchro into five, uh, ten rather. Okay. Synchro into the now legally summoned Stardust Warrior. <laughs> yep. And Stardust Warrior is going to attack your guy. I feel like. All right. I, Wait, no, something cool happens if you kill him, right? Yep, Fencing Fire Ferret is effect activate. I can target Stardust Warrior and uh, destroy him and, d and then deal 500 damage to you. Nice. Stardust Warrior is now destroyed. I take 500 damage. This this is a great learning mm -hmm. lesson, actually, and now... So you're going to summon uh, So you're gonna summon Junk Warrior then? I only have one eligible target left in the deck. Can I can I actually get him? Yes, I can. Yeah. Because he, has to, he just has to be a Warrior Synchro Monster. And now, uh... And his effect activates because you have level leader, so he's at 2,900. So he he stays at 2,900. Um... Right. I'm trying, I'm trying to think if that, if that is an actual activated effect. I assume, 
I assume it's an activated effect, so I can use Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare on it. Monster that was special to activate its effect, negate that effect, and if you do, destroy that card. Well, ain't that just a doozy. I'm going to end my turn now. Okay, then. Mm, Alright. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Recover. Okay. And I'm going to have Recover, Attack, and Destroy a uh, Love Leader. Nice. And I will end. I kinda hoping I get Call of the Haunted. That would be awesome. That would be really awesome. I can't believe I'm out of I'm out of I've depleted all my entire extra deck. That's that's yep, over the course of one turn. That sucks. I'm gonna normal summon Sonic Warrior by setting him face down, of course. <laughs> Flip up, damn you. I'm mm. going to attack your guy. Okay, <laughs> then. 300. And I will uh, main phase two. Main phase two. Check your graveyard. <laughs> I'm going to set this card and end my turn. Okay, then. Hmm. Let me think here. Think. Think, darn it. All the thinking. Hmm. And you're seven. Okay. If I... Oh, man, even... I really wonder if there's a way I can put my Synchro Monsters back in the extra deck. <laughs> All right, I'm going to activate uh, noble, noble Dragon Magician. All righty. Uh, where is it? Okay, it won't let me move to Pendulum Zone from there. All right. There. Yeah, he's in the Pendulum Zone. All right. Next, I'm going to activate Pendulum back, and I'm going to target uh, Skull uh, Skull uh, Joker and uh, Recover. Skull Crobat. That Skull Crobat. Okay, so it, it does mm -hmm. kind of roll off the tongue. Um, actually, no. I'm going to target Lila. Uh, target two monsters in your graveyard with level between, between. exclusive. Mm -hmm. So I can grab anything from uh, from two, three, and four. Nice. nice. All right, and I'm gonna summon uh, perform. I'm gonna normal summon uh, Skull Pet Joker. Okay. okay. Which who lets in, you? In order to grab an Odd Eyes monster. Uh, odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. I mean, wait, no, that wouldn't help. Mm, honestly, it might at the moment, but. Well, you can't Pendulum summon him. Mm, true. So you, but I can grab need... a Performer Pal Silverclaw. Oh, he's adorable. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to Pendulum Summon 2. Uh, Performer Pal Silverclaw and Lila Lightsworn Sorceress. Sweet. I'll use Lila's effect, turning into defense mode to destroy this spell or trap. And you took the bait. Yeah, you took the bait. It, it doesn't affect when it activates, but I can't possibly use it now. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Um, I will have uh, Performing Pal Silverclaw attack over Sonic Warrior for 1,100 damage. Oh, I take he gains 300 attack. Ah, uh, so does my Skull Pat Joker. But why? Because of Silverclaw. When Silverclaw declares an attack, all Performing Pal monsters I control gain 300 attack until the end of the battle phase. Oh, I see. It's weird that his pendulum effect... Yeah, his monster effect is so, so, it's so similar. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling I'm about to lose. <laughs> and during my end, Lila will move me for three. I wanted that air bellum, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> the tr and my Trump witch, too? Jeez. Uh, uh, Alright, I think... 
This is the card that I needed. The, pro the fucking problem is I am out of Synchro Monsters in my extra deck. So even if I do get a cool tuner, I can't use it. <laughs> Is there, are there any Synchrons, is there any Synchrons at all that... You, get, you still have Quick Draw. I could get Quick Draw, but what is the effing point? If I can't, I can't Synchro Summon. I have to, I have to have a way of, like, returning them to the extra deck, because otherwise I can't use them. Uh, oh. And they're banished, so no. I'm gonna go on a Drill Synchron. Okay. Drill Synchron's a tuner, right? Fuck, he's not, yes, he's he's not a, tuner. a tuner? Wait, is he? He is a tuner. He is a tuner, but he has 800 attack. That's okay. If I fucking survive this turn, I will live to tell my children of the glory of how I use Drill Synchron's effect. Fuck, it doesn't work because he's not a warrior. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. I think I am about to definitely lose. I am probably... Drill Synchron should definitely be a warrior. He really, sh he really should. That's a real disappointment. Um, actually, wait. I... Damn it, that doesn't even help either because he's not a warrior. See, I'm going to show you what would have been that much better of a move because I'm pretty sure I lose. That could have... What I'm going to do, basically, is normal summon Synchron Carrier <laughs> who lets me normal summon one Synchron Monster in addition to my normal summon... There's the other guy. The problem is I have two machines who can't gain piercing. <laughs> yep. And your Synchron Carrier has no attack points. It has no attack points. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, Drill Synchron is not going to go to the graveyard. He needs a, he needs a reason to live. I'm going to have him attack and destroy Lila because it's the only useful thing I can do for the rest of his turn. <laughs> okay. I live to battle another day, I guess. Mm. Alright. Uh, I will have Performal Pal Silver Claw attack Synchron Carrier for 2100. Yeah, they did it. 2100. Right out the mm. ass. And I will have my Skull, per Skull Cravat Joker attack a Drill Synchron for 13. Those are the buttons that I press. And I will end my turn. Oh, please, for the love, give me a Call of the Haunted. That is not a Call of the Haunted. I'm going to set this is card. Is it Reese the Ice Mistress? I'm going to set this card. And I'm going to end my turn. Okay. I will normal summon uh, Archfiend... Uh, Arch nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. And you could have special Nefarious Archfiend you could have Eater of Nefariousness. I could have special summoned him, but I chose not to. Uh, I'll have Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness attack your face down. You know what? Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Try again. Alright. I'll have Performal Pal Silver Claw attacking over your monster. You did it. It was Rush Warrior. And I'll have a perform pal skull a skull cravat joker swinging in for game. And I lose. Good game, Gerda. Ah. Mm. All right. So what did we learn today, Cloud? I learned that Stardust Warrior is really good, especially on moves where you basically could have avoided him dying, <laughs> because that that was that that misplay basically cost me the game. Hmm. Absolutely and truly. And what I also noticed, um, what I also noticed is that our decks actually interact rather, rather well. Like among yeah. among the other structure deck matchups we've done, like I'm I'm big on like non-invasive effects and just like blanket protection. But um, well, I mean, and then given I was using Stardust Warrior, who does give me protection against his special summons. But then, like, you got to use trap cards against cards like Junk Warrior, whose effect, albeit innocuous, activates when he's summoned and therefore is eligible for your trap effect. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I don't like this deck, actually. <laughs> but I don't like this I don't like this deck very specifically because it has a shitload of powerhouse cards in it, and yet it doesn't have enough of the powerhouse cards to really shine through. Dude, this deck really wants me to go into uh, go into my absolute my absolute dragon as I have a shit ton of level seven monsters, but 
the deck is supposed to be uh, searching out like Oaf Dragon and uh, Dragon Pit Magician pretty much every other turn, and it can't do it because there's only one Joker in here. Mind you, Joker is absurdly powerful, and it's a good idea to have only one of him in here, but then you lose a lot, a, on a lot of the potency of the deck. Yes. But you well you get you gain consistency. No, you don't. You do not gain consistency. The potency of this deck is how much of is how much it's able to actually go and do searching and swarming at the same time. That's why this that's why this deck or a, a much more consistent permutation of it was the bane was the bane of the meta for almost a year. No, yeah, for real. And, and once and once again, Performo pals, it's a round of applause for Performo pals. Yes, because but the Performo Pals are actually a really cool archetype. They just have some stupidly broken cards in them. I don't think they're cool. I think that they're silly. Mm. They're si Being silly is okay. After all, to after all, frogs are once again the are one of the best decks in the format. I still have issue with that. <laughs> I have issue with that too, but mostly because of the card that put them there. Um, what major changes would you make to your deck? Um. I would probably take the first thing I would do is probably take out Imperial Iron Wall. Honestly, I I, yeah. I don't understand why that card is in here. Especially, oh now I understand why. Actually, I, I was slow on the uptake because I noticed, as was becoming as was starting to become very disruptive during the game, is that my creatures have a tendency to banish themselves. So Imperial Iron Wall would make them infinitely reusable. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna retract that. I would not remove. Imperial Iron Wall. I might take out Double Synchron because that card is just asinine in itself, and I might as well just wait for you to destroy my spells and traps if I so desire to have them destroyed that way. Um, Solemn, I, I'm generally opposed to cards like Solemn Warning because it's all it's doing is just disrupting your opponent heinously. Um, Scrap Iron, Sta I feel Scrap Iron Statue also should go because its effect is a little. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Esoteric situation. Yeah. As in, who gives a shit? Do you know anyone that's running Dangerous Machine Type 6 at the moment? Nope. Yeah, which is why Scrap Iron Statue is not a good card. Uh, Dark, Erup Dark Eruption feels feels kind of lame. One for one. Dark Eruption in there actually makes sense because you want to be reusing your uh, your Junk Warriors effect over and over again. Well, yeah. Also, do you have a you have got a bunch of other Dark Monsters that you can uh, use with it, like Axel Synchron and Doppel Warrior. And those cards would be easy to put into the graveyard because I have effects that allow me to send Synchron, like Excel Synchron. Excel Synchron would set that up like immediately. Um, as for major, as for other major changes besides just my personal preference, this deck is really powerful if you know how to use it. Especially when I figured out that if you use, you're supposed to combine. The reason why Quick Draw is in here. I mean, he seems useless at first, but then you realize that if you reduce, if Level Eater eats one of his levels, and then you got Quick Draw and Level Eater on the field, you could Synchro in five and then continue from there. Yep. So there. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I have to say about that. Um, uh, the major change that I would make from this thing is to, is divert away uh, from the. Uh, from the level seven stuff, because although Metaphys Arm Dragon is really cool, and so is Fool's Ear Dragon, the Dual Mode Beast, they don't actually work that well because I have to uh, I have to set up you know my Pendulum Zones to be able to use them pretty much at all. Mm. With that being said, I really like uh, the stuff that's here. I just want duplicates of it. I specifically want duplicates of Dragon Pulse and Dragon Pit. If I could get duplicates of those specifically. That would be really awesome. Yeah, because with Drag with Dragon Pulse's effects, uh, you can destroy my cards, motherfucker. Which I failed to do, which would have had me win a full turn earlier. He's got really cool. His exuberance and skill put him in high regard with his mentor, the Dragon Pit Magician. <laughs> yes, they are meant to be used as a combo. Indeed. Uh, what are your thoughts on the the nefarious archfiend eater of nefariousness, who is also nefarious? I love this card's name, despite the fact that I can't say it. <laughs> and I also like the fact that that he's technically supposed to be a member of the familiar possessed archetype. For the record, the familiar possessed archetype is fucking amazing, and I love it. Yeah, actually, I would I would be interested to see that. Is this a is this a custom card challenge? <sighs> I, 
could do it. I just don't think it works that well. But I believe mm, in you, Garrett. Right. You can do it. All right, then. We've been at this for almost an hour now. I think I think we're set with this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next time, actually, I have no idea what the next structure decks are. Uh, well, hopefully not Performo Pals, because I have... No, I've Performo been Pals only has one structure deck. And thank Jesus for that, because honestly, I want Performa Pals to just go away. You guys are adorable. I'm happy to see you, but you guys are terrible to play against. Uh, spe uh, specifically the uh, Clown Loop. God damn that Clown Loop. Of course they have a loop. Every good deck has a loop. Where's your loop? You don't have one? Get one. It, it just got banned? Find a new one. They exist. They sprout up every format. <laughs> mm, yeah. All right, guys. Be safe. Bye-bye.